in this video we are dealing with two more operations on graphs we have already learned union ring sum decomposition and intersection of graphs now deletion deletion operation there are two types one is deletion of a vertex and another one is deletion of an edge first let me take deletion of a vertex if g is my graph and say vi is any vertex of graph g then g minus vi g minus vi denotes a subgraph of g obtained by deleting a vertex vi from the graph g in fact deletion of a vertex means deletion of all those edges which are incident on this particular vertex g minus vi is a subgraph obtained by deleting a vertex vi okay from the graph g for example if this is my graph okay say v1 v2 v3 v4 let me take a bigger one v5 and v6 okay this is my graph g now say i'll remove a vertex v4 g minus vertex v4 from the graph g it's a graph a subgraph obtained by removing vertex v4 from this graph g what remains I'm, i have to remove this removal of a vertex or a deletion of a vertex means deletion of all those edges which are incident on this vertex so remaining will be v1 v2 v3 and the vertex v4 is not there so left out with vertex v5 and v6 got the point v4 was supposed to be here i have removed that vertex so i have to remove all those edges which are incident on this particular vertex i if i remove vertex v5 suppose then v1 v2 will be there v1 v2 v3 will be there i am removing v5 i am removing v5 so v4 will be there and v6 also will be there v4 and the vertex v6 this edge is also there since i have removed v5 this edge and this edge will not be there so this edge will be there this is g minus v4 means uh, uh, vertex v4 is deleted from g and in this vertex v5 is deleted from the graph g this is deletion of a vertex always remember deletion of a vertex means deletion of all the edges incident on that vertex along with the vertex okay next is deletion of an edge if from graph g okay say ej is any particular edge then from g i am deleting edge ej that is obtain say we say we are getting e g minus e j deletion of an edge implies deletion of all those edges which i have mentioned here and remember one thing we are not deleting any vertex g minus e j is a subgraph of g obtained by deleting an edge ej from g remember 
no vertex is removed in this in fact g minus ej is nothing but g ring sum with ej for example if i consider this i'll take up simple graph okay this is my graph v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 name the edges say e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 g minus let me remove an edge e1 you can even write capital no problem so g minus e1 is like this just an edge e1 is removed vertices vertices will be there okay so g minus e1 is in fact you can observe it is nothing but g ring sum with e1 so in a graph g delete an edge ej and obtain new graph g minus ej and this is subgraph obtained by deleting an edge ej and deletion of an edge doesn't imply that deletion of its end vertices okay always remember that deletion of vertex means i'm removing those edges which are incident on that vertex but when i take deletion of an edge i'm just removing an edge i'm not removing the vertices removing the end vertices of that edge okay next operation is fusion here i'm dealing with the vertices a pair of vertices say a comma b in a graph are said to be fused or merged said to be fused or merged if two vertices are replaced by a new vertex new vertex okay such that every edge that was incident on either a or b or on both is incident on this new vertex a pair of vertices a and b in a graph are said to be fused or merged if those two vertices are replaced by a single new vertex such that every edge that was incident on either a or b or both is incident on the new vertex for example this is my graph say v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 a b c d e f okay this is my graph and what i'm doing is i'm fusing v1 with v2 v1 is fused with v2 what i'm going to get v1 is fused with v2 so v1 goes here okay and all the edges which are incident on this v1 will be incident on v2 so this will look like this v5 v4 i mean edges c e f and d as it is v4 edges sorry c e f and d will be as it is but v1 is fused with v2 okay so v2 will be there and there will be a self loop that edges nothing but a because it goes here so it will be a self loop over here and this edge 
between v1 and v5 it goes here v5 v2 so we'll draw it like this okay this is an h b v1 is fused with v2 i'm taking vertex v1 and i'm putting it on v2 so this edge goes here this edge reaches here so there will be an extra edge from v5 to v2 and there will be a self loop that is h a okay this is v1 is fused with v2 if i take uh, v2 is merged or fused with v1 then what happens v2 is fused with v1 i'm taking this and i'm putting it over here so this part will be same v4 v5 v1 and this vertex v3 has to be there it has to be there v3 and now the edge d see f b will be here f will be as it is now i'm taking v2 to here so that edge c will come up here okay so one more edge will be there that is edge c okay and now this edge e is between v4 to v2 but i have taken v2 to v1 so this edge e will be here so v4 to v1 there is an edge that is edge e okay and then v2 to v3 edge d is here but now v2 is here so edge d is from v1 to v3 sorry let us edge d now c is already there b d e and f one more edge is there that is a it was from v1 to v2 since v2 is merged with v1 so it will be a self loop over here that is h e this has to be a dotted line okay i hope that is clear fusion of a vertex not alter the number of edges in fact but it reduces number of vertices by 1